We've been compromised. This ain't a real haiku. Hello and welcome to episode 21 of the Youth Squad Legends series with Lincoln City. Let me talk you through what's happened this season at our club. So Brownell has gone from Helmstad to Lincoln. He becomes a backup centre back for us. I really concentrated on strengthening the centre backs this summer. And we've got Rose going to Barnet for 130,000. So it, basically it was like a swap there. Sabia Philho, a free agent striker, came in, kind of replaced what Rose left behind. Manzias, Souza Vidasco, right, okay, Souza Vidasco is a strange one because he came in as a free agent and then suddenly disappeared. Squad hub time. I do feel like Rui Faria played a part in his disappearance. We've got a great chunk of transfers that are over £30 million, so... Yeah, it's kind of looking like a, a realistic transfer window, I guess. So strengthening this defence, we brought in a player and we also scouted a couple from Ghana. Now, Habe, Habe is a bit special. If we go into edit player, prepare yourself because it's finally happened. Are we ready? Oh, yes. There he is with his helmet. I didn't really want to change this side much because we, we all have our favourites in this team and it's a good solid starting 11 and I want to bring that starting 11 to the Premier League but Harbe is a great addition because this is the first episode of the second season. If you missed any of the first season, I've done a mega, and I do mean a mega video with all the episodes from the first season in it. It is quite incredible. There it is in that corner. Basically, all the episodes put together was like 4 hours and 30 minutes. This one's condensed to 2 hours and you basically understand everything that's happened. So, stick that in your eyeballs and you'll enjoy like 2 hours of goodness. How about that? Rui Ferreira is the type of guy to eat the pot noodle without the soy sauce. Time for a haiku by Jim Bob. Welcome to Yuko Ike's Haiku Chronicles with your host, Yuko Ike. End of season now. We didn't make the playoffs. I blame Rui's goal. You just know Rui Faria supports Randa. Benson and Kuda sleep together in a bunk bed, overseeing those little ostrich babies. Rui Faria is the type of guy to use your master ball on a pidgey just to spite you. Rui Faria snuck a cucumber in Yuko Ike's lunchbox and made him cry. Comment section is turned into nothing but Rui Faria comments. He, he, we are better than this, boys. Rui Faria doesn't hit the notification bell when he subscribes. I wonder if we keep up the Rui for ear abuse his performances might pick up. We're now friends on Bebo. We have a chant for Leo Tuomi. Phillips is still waiting for his chant. Someone make him a chant, guys. Leo. Leo Tuomi, run down the wing for me. Yeah, you get it. It's the heartbeat tune, isn't it? Like, yeah, good. Rui Faria just bought himself a new toaster. Works well, apparently. No words. Rui Faria giving Sousa Fadaska some dirty looks as he walks by the Lincoln City training ground. Rui likes to be the only Portuguese guy in Lincoln. Oh, God, there are a lot of comments saying Rocky Shoofs and Prince Samba for the squad. I might have made a slight mistake, gentlemen. I might, I might have underestimated your love for Rocky Shoofs and Prince Samba. Well, you can't get Rocky Shoofs anyway because he doesn't want to relocate. So, uh, yeah, that's completely down the drain. Ah, yes. Perry NG and his greasy nose welcoming Prince Samba into the room. And he's got some great hair. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Oh man, that guy is majestic. I just don't have the money. I actually don't have the money. This kid had all the talent in the world. He could have been a superstar. But Jorzy Berger is now finding himself on the free agents list. He had all the potential. And I think he was like 86 to 94 or something crazy like that. But I can show you right now that his weak foot's only one star. What a shame. What a terrible waste of talent. Much excitement happening in my face. I can't contain the excitement. 
Port Vale against Lincoln City at the start of the season. We need to sort out our team. We need to have a look through Port Vale. Berisha at 52, Ward 47, Surridge who was there last season at 52, Robinson demoted to the bench because habe has got a helmet. Are we ready to get the season underway? The season where we are tipped for promotion? Of course we are. Let's go. Habe. Ooh. Switching it to running. Close control there by running. Excellent first touch, Latova Lovici. Get the feeling that Kuroga's watching this with a tear in his eye. He could have been in this setup for a long time. He could still be in this setup eventually. But because he didn't have a chance, he just did not fit in. Should be Phillips's all day. Yes, that goes back. Cooper back to Kude. And that's Habe. Now Latov Lovici. Charlie Green sends it to Cooper. No rushing here. It's an away fixture. A win's good. We need to build up these points a lot better than we did last season. Oh, dear me. It's Tom Pope against Kude. Kude's done it. And then Cooper clears. Habe. Nice touch by Habe, but he needs to keep working because Tom Pope has not finished with him yet. Oh, Cooper out. No nonsense this season. Here's Harvey Hall. Play it back to Charlie Green. Oh, aim for, aiming for Castaneda. Brings out Yuko Ike. I don't mind. With a finish like that, Yuko Ike can take all our shots. It's 1-0 Lincoln City. Ike, Yuko. That one from Tokyo. I say. Hmm. Haiku me now! Welcome to Yuko Ike's Haiku Chronicles with your host, Yuko Ike! Walked past the bakers, saw a pie beckoning me. I ate all of it. Inside that body is a finisher. He might have started off his career slow, but eventually, in that last season, he was. Lincoln City's third best goal scorer. No, 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 Habe, he stepped up. This is it, it's gonna be the last attack of the first half as well. Go on, Kude! Oh, that's enough! That is enough! We slid in there, Kude! Come on, boys! Every single game means a lot now. Well done. Half time, 1 0. Come on! Driven cross, not happening. Cooper's been sensational. And he's there again. And. No! Oh! Out you go! Super Cooper, your tackles are so timely. Do this. Oh, it is blocks. He's been good at the blocks today. Yuko Ike with the fake shot. Nice. He's found himself some space. He drives into the box. Yuko Ike. Oh. It will drop for running. No problem. Haaland. What's Haaland got for us? Kude's not coming for this. Oh, Cooper. Cooper's not put a single foot wrong. Habe. There he is. The new guy! Port Vale are a solid outfit for this league. And so far, I think we've been better in every department. Header, please. Well done, Cooper. That's of Lovici. Oh, it's a loose one, but Phillips gets there. EK, back heel. Get it back to EK. Yuko, EK. Oh, tries to drop it off for Harvey Hall. It was a poor pass. Throw into Lincoln with 10 minutes to go. I've got all my subs to make. So I'll do it now. Gunning goes back to his midfielder. Eh, yes, that's running. There's a ball. Harvey Hall's onside. Castaneda's onside. Rui Ferreira is onside. Oh, but the pass is terrible. Boys, get back. Yes, Rui Ferreira with the blocking. Well done. It's Route 1 football from Port Vale. And Cooper enjoys that challenge. That's a clearance. And full time. We were on the break there. Castaneda rubbing his hands at the opportunity. But he, he can't have it. Because the referee says enough's enough. It's three points for Lincoln City in this first game of the season. Next up is Swindon away in the Carabao Cup. I guess the story of this game, Leo Tuomi, starts for Lincoln City. But his brother, who hasn't yet to play for the great team of Lincoln, is on the bench ready and waiting and I'm sure we'll replace his bro later on in the game if all goes to plan and there's Brownell making his player debut in the number 19 Manzias against McDermott Burnson what's Burnson doing 
Surely you should have your front post there. What a donkey. Robinson's got spun. Oh, yes, but he recovers. Robinson from the left-hand side. Ed Lee going infield. And Philo, for some reason, to play it towards Swindon Town. No good. Well done. Oh. At least we got one big positive. The Ghanaian centre bikes that we brought in through the Youth Academy. They look okay. Brownell, nice pass, under pressure. Headless chicken stuff by my attack. Just trying to close down as much space as they possibly can, but Swindon are playing around us at the moment. Yeah, good save, Burnson. Ed Lee, let's go. Ed Lee's got some legs on him. Yes, a lovely two-pass combo. Vilho makes it 1-1. One -one. There you go. Very nice. Philo involved in that play, made by Ed Lee, who surged through that midfield. I knew that Ed Lee was a decent player. Definitely need to keep him. Vilho waits. It will be Ollie Mason. Chip up! Oh! Not Vilho down! Magnuson! Oh! That was on target at least. Well done, Magnuson. Tuomi with the throw in. Magnuson, good first touch. There's Philo. Oh, yes, still Philo. Got chance. Got a goal. Nice one. Good composure. Just chipped it over the legs of the Swindon Town goalkeeper. That's what I like to see. That's a great little finish by the young Brazilian. That's excellent. So, Philo and Vilho on the score sheet. It's no. The Ghanaian. No, oh, he's on target. Well, well done, mate. Run to Omi. Philo's trying to find you. Oh, he's done it. Spot on, Philo. Unlucky. Philo is giving me all the good sensations. He's going to be a decent sub striker if he continues like this. Vilho. Nothing more, though. Kasten Yena and Harvey Hall for life. Oh! Magnuson! Is it? Yes! Yes, Magnuson! Get in! Proper Magnuson goal! He can still do it! We were all doubting him! But that is a cracking effort! Oh, what a shot! Yes, Magnussen! Magnussen, soon he's a Swedish wonder kid. Magnussen, soon probably wanted by Madrid. To the left, to the right, burn defenders third degree. Stefan plays out of spite, cause he's not from Djibouti. Magnussen, soon he's a Swedish wonder kid. Magnussen, soon. Ooh, good goal. Manzias is all over the play, that's gonna be a foul. Nors conceded a penalty. We got 10 minutes. We haven't got a cool day in the net. Oh, it's all turned a bit sour. We were 3 1 up. We were celebrating. It'll be Matt Taylor against Burnson. No! And that is 3 3. And I'm going to blame everything on Manzias. So we've got Joel Tawomi in now. Joel Tawomi, Ed Kelly, and Rui Ferrier up front for us. Come on, Joel. Where is Manzias? I'm serious now. Manzias is going to ruin this game for us. Yes, that's enough. Well done. I think that was Brownell as well. Brownell's been excellent. Ed Kelly. Yes, runner. Rui. I expected greatness. I expected the bicycle kick. Ferrier into the box. Oh, it was Joel Tawomi on his debut. Oh, he's won it. Joel Tawomi. Great crossing. Oh, for real, what are you doing? Help me. Help. Rita, no. This is bad. This is really bad. Did they hit the post? Brownell clears. How have they come into this game so strong? Well done, Burnson. Throws out Oli Merson on the turn. Rui Faria's onside. Great run by Rui Faria. End to end stuff. It will be Rui. Yes. Let's go. A new Rui Faria. That's it. Come on, lads. I can't even remember the Rui Faria chant. Rui Faria, a disappointing future star. Yeah, Rui Faria, that man he has stole my heart. Come on, na 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 na. Ed Lee, boom, the ball in. Rui's on for a second. Rui Faria. 
What is this? His name is Rui and he dances on the wing. Really good display by some of these players. Magnussen's impressive. Ed Lee's been fantastic. Joel Toomi since coming on has looked a class act. And let's not forget that Rui Ferrio has just scored twice and his second was actually very, very decent. Don't lose your man. It will be Joel Tawomi. Oh, Joel Tawomi! A winger making a stop like that. Ollie Mason. Yes. Ed Kelly. Rui Ferrio for the hat trick. What a save. No coming back from this. Swindon Town. They're just going to have to admit defeat. Oh, Brownell. He's got bullied. That's Swindon Town 4, Lincoln City 5. So it's not over just yet, amazingly. Hang on, Rui Furio. I'm gonna... No. The, the old Rui still remains. But at least the new Rui is shining through sometimes. Magnussen. Yes, here goes Joel Tawomi. Lovely! Ollie Mason. Yes! Fantastic! Ed Kelly. Oh, foul. That's going to eat up so much time. Ed Lee's over it. Have we got anybody that can take a free kick? Rui Furrier. Okay. No. Rui Furrier for the hat trick on the free kick. 27 yards. Oh, he's hit the wall. And then, uh, well, less said about that second effort. That is full time. A nine goal game. 120 minutes of adrenaline-packed football. Pretty dismal youth showing by Chesterfield. Got three regens on the bench. All look shocking. None on the field of play. Let's get on with the game. Lincoln City against Chesterfield. I expect what happened last time we played Chesterfield is going to actually play a massive part in what is the result of this game. Because I very much doubt Lincoln City will want to be embarrassed like that. Be Mitchell for Chesterfield. Straight into the hands of Kude. I'm sure he'll be thankful. Throws out. There's Charlie Green. We've got a run up. Let's go. There's EK. Nice pass from running. Harvey Hall has to play it back. But we're okay, lads. We're not conceding. There you go. Charlie Green. Castaneda. We could be doing more than that. Harvey Hall. Have some of that then. Let's go! From back to front, it's Harvey Hall bagging all the goals. It's the Lincoln boys making all the noise. For Harvey Hall, for Harvey Hall, for Harvey Hall. Midfield is strong, really strong at the moment. Castaneda, here's Harvey Hall. We're going to see another Harvey Hall goal. Chesterfield very defensive. They don't want to see it. Harvey Hall. Oh, that's a ball in Castaneda! Come on, then. Come on. Let's get some revenge. Let's get more goals against these guys. Aye, aye. We've got Castaneda. Aye, aye. He comes from Venezuela. Aye, aye. Everything's gonna be okay. They're back on the score sheet, boys. It didn't take them long. Same old Castaneda. Same old Harvey Hall. Different Lincoln City. Let's go. McCourt. Ooh, yes, Bionni running to Kude. Get this right, boys. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. Well played. Get it out from defense the right way. The stylish way. And that should mark the end of the half. Or maybe not. We've got another attack brewing. It's Harvey Hall casting you. <laughs> Let's have some of that. Oh, it's breathtaking stuff, lads. Aye, aye. We've got Castaneda. Aye, aye. He comes from Venezuela. Aye, aye. He'll win us the league in May. He's going to do it. He will win us that. League 2 trophy. I will be parading all the way through Lincoln in an open top bus. Harvey Hall's waiting for a run there. Doesn't happen. Mind you, is it? Oh, no, no, no. That was bad. That was bad. The defence stood up way too much. Oh, guys. There's no need 
to have a defensive line that high, especially at 3-0 up for that, I'll go defensive, just to make sure that this is confirmed as a, an impressive, a stylish, a convincing win over Chesterfield. Harvey Hall with a runner, very nice, you got Ike! What a save, that'll be Vilho from the tight angle. There's another decent start by Anyon. I realise that they are missing that playmaker that they had at the end of last season. Maybe he has moved on. He was way too good for League 2. Vilho. Yep. Turn. There's Harvey Hall. Let's do some circus skills on Harvey Hall. He didn't really get the right connection on that. Demo! Why did they not play Demo from the start? Yep. That's mine. Harvey Hall. Big strength. Penalty. It's going to be a fourth, hopefully, for Lincoln City. And a red card, mmm, I don't think so. Yuko Ike's put the ball down. I don't think I need the arrow anymore. I think we're all right now. Yuko Ike, baby. Yuko Ike, whoa, whoa, whoa. I asked for revenge, we got revenge, and in a huge, huge way. I thought we'd be scraping it 1-0. I didn't expect it to come as gloriously as it did. Lincoln City 4, Chesterfield 0, and it was just magnificent to watch at times. Well, it's been an absolute pleasure to bring this episode to you guys. The Cambu has gone to Chelsea. I've seen Wilfred Zaha move into Tottenham from Red Bull Leipzig, so he's made two moves already. We are top of the table after two games. And with six points and a goal difference of plus five. If you've enjoyed this episode, then please give it a like. If you're not subscribed yet, then do so. Hit the red box and press the bell for mobile notifications. You know you want to do that. See you in a bit.